And the last thing, which is very important, because these terms get thrown around a lot and mixed up and interchanged when they can't be. Okay. Um, so this this word's going to get thrown a lot of, uh, around a lot. The inverse of a number. A lot of times they'll say, "What do we do uh, to solve this equation? How do we cancel out this number?" Oh, we'll multiply by the inverse. So we'll do the inverse, and uh, yeah, it's true. But uh, let's define things really well here. So we have something called the opposite. Okay, and that's different from this thing called the reciprocal. Okay. The opposite of a number, the opposite of a, uh, has to do with addition. So, addition specifically. Okay, the opposite of a number is the negative of that number. Right? It's a number where if I add it on, if I add this number negative a then I get 0, which is the identity, the, the additive identity. The reciprocal is a number that uh, when you multiply it by this number, you get the multiplicative identity, which is 1. And that number for a is 1 over a. Right. a and 1 over a are reciprocals. a and negative a are opposites. These are not opposites. These never get called reciprocals, but uh, or hardly ever that I know of. Uh, so this is the reciprocal. This is the opposite. Very different things. Both are the inverse. They're just inverses of different operation uh, operators or operations. Uh, the addition operation and the multiplication operation. Okay, and just technically speaking, just they thought they'd throw this in there. Division is uh, is really multiplication, multiplication of the reciprocal. So a divided by a number b is really a times one over b. And in algebra, we'll typically see things like this more often than we will. We'll, we'll rarely use this symbol here. Uh, we'll do times one over b, okay? And that's it, provided that b is not zero. Uh, you can't divide by zero. Oh my goodness. We'll talk about that later. Okay. Thanks for watching.